we don't just process the Yurok scales here. You know, Yurok fishermen know that when they're out there, uh, our technicians come up and they scrape the scales off and collect them in an envelope, and then they're brought to our office here. But we also do all of the scales for all of the outside entities in the entire Klamath River Basin, and except for the Hoopa tribe. The Hoopa tribe actually does their own scales. We also are sent the scales from the collections from U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, U.S. Forest Service, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, and now Oregon Fish and Wildlife with dam removal is sending us their scales as well. And, and so we get thousands of scales that are either hand-delivered or FedEx here to our office. And when they come in, our crew like Hunter and Gloria and Doreen remove the four best scales from each scale envelope. We mount them on these acetate cards. For each salmon, we take the four best scales because we're gonna to have to use those to age these fish. When we have the scale images in here, it looks a lot like a human fingerprint. It looks like rings of a tree. These fish lay out different growth patterns um, from year to year, depending on food availability in the ocean. Also depending on changes in like age of maturity, stuff like that. Like in the very center, the, the focus of the scale, we can see when that salmon was born. And I can actually see the daily rings that it developed over time as it was a juvenile. And then I can see when it emerged out into the ocean. I can tell by the scale patterns, like I can see this fish, for instance, its first summer when it emerged into the Pacific Ocean. And then I can see its first winter. Then I can see its next summer, then its next winter, then its next summer, then its next winter. The summer periods are really easy to recognize because the lines are spaced out significantly different than during the winter time. And that's because the fish is growing rapidly in the summer out in the ocean because there's a lot of stuff to eat. So it's eating rapidly, it's growing rapidly. So it's laying down growth lines, but because it grew a lot before the last growth line on the scale, that circuli, those two circuli have a big distance between them. And then when it gets into winter, they grow a lot slower, so the annuli become much more compressed. And because they're compressed and close together, it creates like a dark ring, but it's subtle on a lot of fish. On a normal year, I will age between five and 6,000 scales. This stack here is from the main stem Klamath between the Oregon border and Keno Dam. And this stack here is from Spencer Creek. Copco one went online around 1922 which cut off the area for these fish. So these are the first scale samples from Pacific salmon in over 100 years. Once we're done reading them, we take these down to Arcata and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has a reader down there and they read them all independent of us. I've developed a software package over the last several years. And what it does is, is when we put these scale ages into the computer system, it will compare the reads from U.S. Fish and Wildlife with our reads and where we don't agree, we'll have a third read where we'll meet. We don't leave the room until we agree on an age for that fish. Then a lot of people ask, you know, well, what's the importance? Why do we know that? Why do we need to know the age of fish? Why is that important? It's super important because we, from that, we develop a report every year. It's called the age proportion run size report. And what that report is, is we reconstruct the entire fall Chinook run on the Klamath River Basin every year. And we break it down by age proportion. So we not only know the entire run size, we know the proportion of two-year-olds, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, and five-year-old fish in the basin. Those numbers are plugged into what's called the Klamath Ocean Harvest Model, which is now making a prediction for the next year. And we want to be as accurate as we can because we want the quotas to reflect what's really gonna happen. 